Welcome back everybody to Clonella. Uh, we are headed into what I believe is the last stage of the game. Um, while we were out, I restocked on some of my lives because after giving this an initial run through or attempt, uh, I realized I'm very bad at platforming and I'm going to need about, I don't know, 10 or more lives to get through this because I'm just going to fucking flush them. More than likely, I'm just going to flush 10 lives immediately on this fucking part. That was at least, at least I got my money's worth out of that life. Oh, fucking died. Like, I get it. These jumps are not supposed to be hard. It's the, f it's kind of like, if you hold it too long, you do your flutter, okay? So I'm still getting used to like, okay, I need to land on this dime. And that was like the worst possible place to mess up too. If I messed up on the previous one, I'd been fine. I mess up on that one, the guy's coming down to stomp my face in. So yeah, I, like I said, I was playing this uh, a little bit toward at the end of the last, um, a little bit at the last, um, end of my last recording, because I just kind of wanted to see what was, what was in store for me. Um, and this is what was in store for me. And... So I bought lost five lives already, so... If this was a restart, a three live restart continue, I would have had to continue again. If I die again, it'll be two... It'll be, well, actually less than two continues, because zero counts as a life in this game. Yep, fuck that one up. You can see how fucking salty I am still about this whole thing. If I can get past this first section, we might be okay. I should have just went for the whole she just went for the whole thing, you know? I do have to say, and I'll mention this now, so I don't forget, this music is fucking bumping. This is fucking last stage music at its finest. Alright. So I did get to roughly I get did get to this part, okay? And this next part, I just feel like isn't nearly as difficult as the part I just did. And not because I have floor underneath me. Okay, and then this is a bit challenging here as well, because they're asking you to... I mean, provided you're interested in picking up the dudes, uh, they're asking you to sort of tank some damage, which means that I just... I don't know if you've ever seen the episode of The Simpsons where... Uh, Principal uh, Skinner has Otto, the bus driver, uh, siphon uh, the gasoline out of another school's tank, and he gives him a breath mint for afterwards. And then towards towards the middle of that episode, he goes, "Oh, I should need that breath mint, breath mint first. It's kind of like that. I should have. I shouldn't have taken the health first. I should have. Yeah, that should have hit him. Just a little short. Okay. Missed. I missed. I missed. Okay. Oh yeah, I've come all the way over here in order to unlock this area. And then after this, after this area, I'm kind of blind. Because, as you may or may not imagine, when you have five or so lives left from 
the end of the previous stage and you drain six of them or so or you've drained four of them and you only have one life left you don't necessarily get to get to this part because you'll die from talking to whoever so yeah so that's the last little bit of the puzzle that I gotta do in order to lift that column I'm guessing based on nothing that I'm gonna have to do that another this is, gonna, this is the first of probably four I'm guessing because in you know there were four worlds there was sun world grass world wind world and water world that's the four and then I'm in the crystal kingdom right now so I have to imagine I got another probably got three more of those I gotta do just so I can get uh, all the way around to that gray door that was right above my head there for a second I appreciate them restocking me but I am going to get that um, check mark and I like how um, immediately we're gonna turn up the difficulty here on oh well, this one this one doesn't look nearly as bad oh that's bullshit right there <laughs> That is some fucking bullshit. All right, I'm not going to mess around. I do want to get through this stage and not have to continue again. So I think I will just try to progress. Losing another life. Okay. Okay. Yep, made it. I made it. I made it somehow. All right, we're gonna count that as a as a, a life that should have been lost but wasn't. Yep, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna continue. If need be, I'll come back and get him off screen. Yeah, you know all the mechanics. Have you have you been paying attention to all the mechanics? Hope you've been paying attention to all the mechanics because. You're gonna use all the mechanics. Except I, I'm gonna guess because we're up in, in the midnight sky, probably no day and night mechanics, I'm guessing. That's a freak we'll know life. What's in the eggs? I gotta know. A heart. Okay, that's one, I guess. Then the other heart. some baby gems that's dumb oh, I died oh wait shit well that's nice of them to actually give me a floor so I don't fall through oh but this is okay so this is a little more challenging than than not at all I should just focus on getting up either left just focus on getting up the left side I was going to say the right side, but I'm guessing that guy's going to probably hit me down. Ah, just missed it. And I'm dead. Yeah. I'm doing okay on my heart count right now, provided I don't have a fuck up like I did on the first area. I think we're okay. Should just go after this gem here. Yeah, oh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, I don't have to worry about going back down there again, so we won't. Let me grab the other one of you. All right, done. Gotta get up around you. Good. All right, I know what they wanted me to do here. Because there's enough time for you to flutter jump. Should be able to up. Oh, I didn't get any of that. Need a guy there, I think. Yeah, I need a guy, so I'm gonna have to grab 
One of the little dudes out of the window. We would have to do that on the way down, I think. Like that. Grab a guy if possible for the road. I just kind of want a guy so I don't have to. Okay, we're not going to mess around too much longer with this though. I'll just stun him again. Just hoping to save myself a half heart there, but that's okay. Alright. Next trial. Uh, this looks kind of bullshit. Because I'm guessing two of those, the two uh, gems on the right hand side are facing closer to me on the, the Z axis, if you will. Yep, these are too far away for me. I need to throw guys. But they're probably not long enough. Oh god. Okay, I need. I know what I need to do. I gotta stun the big guy first. Then I gotta pick up this l yellow guy. And then after I pick up the yellow guy, provided I don't lose all my health. Oh, too far over. Okay. So, I need to stun the big guy in the center. Okay. Provided he leaves me a little bit of space to move. But I need to scoop up the yellow guy and get up using the red guy as a step stool to get to the platform above me. Then, once I'm up there, I can use I can take my time and I need to hit these two in short sequence. And then, yeah, well, I don't need to fall down. I did. And then the last thing I need to do is jump and hit the far left one. So try to focus on that for a bit and I died hooray but I still have nine lives so we're doing good right now just hoping that the boss I presume there's a I presume there's a boss at the end of this stage and I'm hoping that he's not nearly as difficult as fighting Yoko it's very difficult Fun, isn't it? See, just barely missed the last one. That's what I've done it. Yeah, so this is literally the way to do it. Yep. As soon as he screws, you just screw up. It's just time toss that guy because you can't hold both. Yep, I fucked it up. That's that's just that's just how that is. I don't have enough time to wait for it to go back and forth like that. I'm hoping to do this without dying again, though. I'm glad they make the enemies disappear. Um, after you do that, because I would have landed on him and damaged myself or possibly died. I like how the sand dumps you right onto the platform so you don't have to worry about moving. Very, very useful.
I'm guessing we have one more area to go. As I've only seen two of the other slides so far. It means there's one more. Otherwise I'd be able to see a like a fourth one, I'm guessing. Yeah, there's the big door. Okay, so there's... I thought there might be four. There's only three. Oh, this is bullshit. I'm just getting, be oh. getting better at the platforming. You see that, guys? I got better at the platforming. I think we should be able to get this uh, guy, though. Even, yeah, even if it costs us a life, yeah, we'll be able to get him, and then we'll see where the last guy is as well. But that would just... That would leave me with one guy left, which kind of stinky poop, I know. I'm losing lives pretty good here now. I don't know how I survived that. This is how we're gonna survive this part, though. We're gonna wait for you to come to me, and then the rest of it is cake. Because I don't care about those gems. Uh, this is st relatively straightforward. I gotta grab the guy in the background and throw at the guy in the foreground. Or tank two hits. Those are your other options. And this first one's really the only difficult one. Because now I can just wait for... I don't actually have to worry about him going back and forth and, like, smushing me. I just have to... Try to time this right. Jump high, jump high, and go get in there. Nice. What we want to do is we want to clearly get over top of this guy and throw it down on him, but I can't get enough height. Yep, I'm dead again. Great. Down to five lives. This is the last section. I think we're okay. Provided I don't lose another life or two here, I think I'm okay to get through the rest of the stage, I'm guessing. Alright, well, we're gonna have to use you now. We want to at least get over top of him. All right, we did that good. Here's the last guy. Great, 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 great. And now I just have to... I know what I, I have an idea of what I need to do, but I don't, I'm not sure this is going to be easy to do. Okay. I was worried he was going to come all the way over here and make this difficult on me. But I think we should be able to get through here now. I'm going to time this right and pick up the heart. Okay, that was lucky. I should have died there. And then we're going to use the platform as a way to kill this guy. He kind of looks like a kitty cat, doesn't he? Like a cat and a spike ball of some sort. Alright, well, that's easy enough. Wait for Mr. Shield Guy to turn around. We'll throw it. And now we can continue on. Hooray. We are like one... Maybe two sections away. There's this, obviously, I gotta get through. Which I took two damage on, great. And then there's a save spot here. Uh oh. Well, I saved just in the nick of time. Now we can pass this area. Hmm. 
Great, I gotta go up. Alright. This will be interesting. Oh, good. Right, let's get the mechanic. I was gonna say, let's get the mechanic, Chris. Pretty clear mechanic, you just... Yeah, that's what you do, but you don't drop down. Jump over his little horny attack. And then, um... Yeah, you don't want to get attacked by his horns. Or his, his, his libido. Who? Enough. Only leaves me with a half a heart, but whatever. At least we're learning, right? And get the Klonoa thing. Yeah, that'll. Not great, but at least it gives me a free life to try that again. Missing the platforms is really going to kill me here, isn't it? I mean, maybe, I mean, obviously it's going to kill, going to cause Klonoa's health to go down. Maybe cost me no life, but I mean, like, mentally I'm just going to lose it. All the way to the back to the bottom. 